Hey guys, I'm Abhishek from Plug-in India. All of us at Plug-in India own only electric vehicles and create content for the EV community. In this episode, we are going to talk about interesting startups that are working on solar electric cars. Now, the right term would be electric cars augmented by onboard solar power. But for the sake of convenience, let's use the term solar electric car in this video. Essentially, the body of an electric car is embedded with photovoltaic solar cells, which in turn convert energy from sunlight into electricity. That energy is stored in the main battery of an electric car, thus increasing the range of the car without having to plug it in. Now, who wouldn't like to see the state of charge increase by just parking in the sun, right? Especially in a tropical climate like India. Several EV startups around the world, such as Aptera Motors, Atlas Motor Vehicles, Fisker Inc., Lightyear One and Sono Motors are developing solar electric cars. They are integrating solar cells into their roofs. However, other body parts such as doors, hoods, tailgates and trunks are also prime real estate. Solar panels can be attached to vehicle bodies using mechanical fasteners or structural adhesives. However, to be aerodynamic and aesthetically pleasing, automotive engineers prefer to integrate solar modules into body panels. Peter Harrop, PhD, chairman of ID Tech X, a market research firm that recently published a report on solar electric cars, said, while it may be possible to use flexible film in the future, solar panels are not simply stuck onto vehicles today. To achieve the complex shapes needed for car bodies, thin solar cells must be molded into carbon fiber, glass or polycarbonate sheets. They become less like traditional solar panels because they are actually structural elements." End quote. The solar cell technology used in these cars is fascinating. There are few manufacturers that even make these cells. One such manufacturer is a US-based SunPower Maxin who manufacture flexible solar cells. These cells are not flake crystalline cells which are used in our own rooftop solar system. They are held together in a unique manner that gives them the ability to bend, which in turn allows electric car makers to put these cells on a curved area as well. Also, for some reason, if the cell is broken, it does not shatter like a regular crystalline cell. You can use this cell even though it is cracked and get almost all the energy out of the cell. I really like this cell. That was an impressive amount of bending and it's cool that even after breaking, it still continued to work. The efficiency of these cells are rated at 22.7% which is quite good. It has very low degradation which is good. This means that it will last a long time. It handles humidity and high temperatures very well. These cells are not heavy so they don't add more weight to an electric car. So the technology is there for more electric car companies to add solar panels on the body of an electric car. Now, many of you will wonder if the solar cells on a car can even generate enough energy to be meaningful. That is a very valid argument. What we're seeing is that startups like Lightyear and Aptera are innovating with awesome technologies to make a solar electric car viable. For example, they are working on designs that ensure the cars have a fantastic drag coefficient, which ensures the car consumes as little energy as possible at high speeds. They're also working on a body that has aluminium and carbon fiber composite body panels, which reduces the weight of the car. Both the cars use hub motors in the wheels, which gives the lowest energy losses compared to normal electric car. All these technologies working together offer some pretty incredible and interesting results. Check out these numbers. The Lightyear Zero offers 560 kilometers range on the highway at 110 kilometers per hour and more than 700 kilometers in the city all with a battery pack of just 60 kilowatt hours. The Aptera 3 wheeled solar car which looks like a spaceship from a sci-fi film has a 25 kilowatt hour battery but provides a range of 400 kilometers. If you park the Aptera all day in the sun you can get around 60 kilometers of range free from the sun. The Lightyear Zero generates up to 70 kilometers of range from the sun if parked all day in the sun. The Aptera has a drag coefficient of 0.13 and Lightyear Zero has a coefficient of 0.19. That just blew my mind. A 60 kilowatt hour pack barely gives 300 kilometers of range at highway speeds in modern electric SUVs today. 
the light year zero gives more than 550 kilometers. The incredible focus on aerodynamics ensures an energy density of around 100 watt hour per kilometer when driving at 110 kilometers per hour on highways for the light year zero. This just goes to show that efficiency is everything in the EV world. The more OEMs think about efficiency, the fewer resources we use and the better the world will be. Unfortunately, the big guys mafia for the last 100 years have assumed that oil is an infinite resource and have built cars that are humongous monstrosities and they continue to offer those same sized EVs. I absolutely love how EV startups like Lightyear and Aptera are showing the way out of this endless consumption way of thinking with their unique designs. The Aptera 25 kilowatt hour version is being sold at $25,900. After US federal credits, it will cost around $18,000, which may make it very attractive for a lot of people. At the same time, its unconventional looks might drive away a lot of other people. Nevertheless, at Rs. 15 lakhs, a three-wheeled solar electric car like the Aptera just won't do well in India. But the great news is that solar cell technology will keep improving. Martin Heinrich, PhD, head of the Department of Module Technology at the Photovoltaics Division of the Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems, says, and I quote, the power that can potentially be generated on a car's roof has increased substantially because of the continuous improvement of solar cell and solar module technology, leading to higher efficiency. Therefore, not only a cooling of the passenger cabin could be provided by the solar roof, but even a significant, ex significant extension of the driving distance could be feasible." End quote. I can picture a 100% solar-powered car that is totally not dependent on the grid. Cars like the Lightyear Zero and Aptera show us tantalizing glimpses of the future and the possibilities with electric cars. Thanks for watching. Do write in the comments below your thoughts on solar electric cars and solar cell technology. We look forward to reading your comments.